The other strength of public spheres is the time efficient way in which they can be conducted. Uh, we really do leverage the fact that um, the internet provides not only remote access to the event itself, but for participants we're really asking for a day of their time and then how they participate in the weeks preceding and the weeks post the event is up to them to manage themselves. So in this way we hope to maximise participation by time limiting that um, the, the the event per se and then people can do the rest of the participation over those weeks either side in their own time or in a way that suits them. One of the reasons that I think the public sphere is proving popular and we've had such a great response is that you can participate by just a single tweet throwing in your thought on an idea that's being presented or the other end of the, the spectrum and prepare a paper. Whether you end up presenting or not, your paper, your idea, your blog becomes part of that data set that forms the public sphere. The other strong feedback that we've received about particularly the Gov 2.0 public sphere is that people felt genuinely empowered. They were excited to be a part of it and they hadn't been asked in the way we were asking them for their thoughts and ideas previously. This has got to be a good development for our democracy and particularly uh, the way we're using social media provides, I think, a substantive use for governments and certainly for politicians on how we, we talk to our constituents and the people we represent. In terms of how it applies to the work that you're doing and Green IT, we really do need to look at ways that uh, IT can become more energy efficient. It's one of the great tools that will help us lighten our carbon footprint. And all of the, the applications, um, I suppose the, the forums that we can leverage the use of information technology, the internet, that's got to be a better outcome for the environment and will help us lighten our carbon footprint. I really uh, commend the work certainly of, of Tom Worthington in running these courses because if we don't have the right people with the smarts and the know-how thinking innovatively about how we apply information technology to the way we do our work, to the way we talk to each other, then Australia is going to find itself, I guess, in a harder place to leverage the opportunities that a national broadband network will provide and limit ourselves to the innovation that, that, that we can be doing right now to make the most of it.